Like a radio news reporter thing that you count. You're on in five, four, go! Right? Yeah. Stop the floor. I think she said she likes lasagna. What did he say? I always understand. Lurkies! Like maybe cheese in German? Käse? Käse! I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they are German at heart. Probably are. They're evil, right? Yeah, that's, that means they must be German. Golf it's a club. golf club. I'm gonna use it so hard until it expires. That's actually yeah. a good weapon. It's as good as the guitar. Yeah. Uh, in terms of damage, I think so. But it breaks pretty uh, quickly. So we managed to get um, around the furniture, <sighs> which we could have just like stepped over. No, this reminds me of Silent Hill, you know, you have the same kind of mechanic, uh -huh. you know, you have the evil world and the... Yeah. Well, in the first game, I, I don't really know anything about the other games, but... You're absolutely right. I think uh, it's it's the same in the other games, or not in the other games, but in the second game, isn't okay. it? Like the fog and uh, stuff. Yeah. I'm no Silent Hill expert at all, but and I think that the community is pretty... Uh, Anal about stuff, so we yeah. should stop talking probably. Or if you know the first part well, I think that's like the. I played it on the PlayStation. I remember that. I played it all the way through, and you have these uh, scenes where you know it's like the normal world, and then suddenly you have like the the ghost world or the evil world. It looked the same. I think that's uh, the same concept basically. I never had a PlayStation. I played um, at friends, but I never really like enjoyed the whole package from <coughs> start to the end. But uh, what I want to say, I do not pro start the profiling unless I find all the three pieces. You know, so because it's just a waste of time. Otherwise, you see like a third or two thirds clearly, and the rest is um, full of noise. And you will see it at the end, uh, uh, anyways. <coughs> oh, come on, Emily. Cuddle, cuddle. <laughs> Hardcore cuddling. It's almost sex. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to die? Did he say that? Yeah. I think that like might it. be it. Well, maybe they're victims, you know? Mm hmm? Like, victims from the past. Well, actually, um, I have to say that the whole murder mystery detective thing, I think it's fine and all, but the other world and these weird, uh, like, zombie, zombie-esque people they are the biggest mystery to me in terms of the game yeah. I don't know what to make of them so the victims of the past I like that I like that very much maybe only in his head also yeah maybe it's uh, this uh, uh, FBI thing that you know because <sighs> if you're not good at what you're doing mm -hmm you will get people killed in the end, you know? But it's just part of the job. Yeah. Because if you don't find the serial killer in time, you'll just kill more people. And maybe that's... These spirits are, like, haunting them, because... That would make total sense to me. Uh, it, like, in the middle of playing, like, at this point, or, like, a little further down the road, or a little earlier, I don't know, I thought maybe he is the killer. But then I thought, no, he, he, he won't be. Because, you know, the, like, the, what do you call it, 
<laughs> the lying narrator trope or something or like the un unreliable mm. narrator trope yeah i hate that and i don't think that the game is bad <clears throat> but i think that he's maybe as a narrator or as as a viewpoint for the player he might be unreliable as to that this might not be the real reality and he still is not the killer you know <clears throat> this might be in his in, in his head yeah something he has to fight through yeah like a fear or something or, yeah. or that you know that uh, because he has to get the profiling done fast you know to save lives so yeah. that's like the the thing he has to fight through like yeah the fear of not doing it properly and <clears throat> like um, the victims of, of his past um, work thing makes total sense in that regard for example but yeah. there might be other yeah, other explanations so there, there will be. Do you remember, like in the, I, s I think it was like the sawmill, and we had to run from him. Yeah. That's what will happen again. And a few. Okay. Now we have to hide from him. That happened before too. Was that in the game? That those mm -hmm. two. Okay. It's not editing. It looks like it might be editing. For yeah. Me, but I wouldn't put that much effort into. Or I would if I could, but uh, I wouldn't know how to do the fancy, like, you know, um, blood vessel uh, f frame thing, yeah. red thingy thing, thing. So it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of cool that the, the, the murderer is not like... Um, it's not his realm, realm, you know, because if, if it were his realm, he wouldn't have to look for you, so... You know what I mean? So yeah. it might be that. Um, I don't know what that might be, but. I kind of know what you mean, but um, yeah. I don't know what it, what it means. <laughs> yeah. In a way. So. But what I want to say is. I think generally. The idea that he is some kind of. A fabled creature like urban legend comes only out at the rain and uh, mixes well or like kind of goes well with the with the whole other world theme and the shadows yeah but the question is does it have anything to do with it yeah and I don't know the holding your breath mechanic mechanic is by the way pretty uh, <coughs> useless but pretty ridiculous but it's uh, it changes things up which is okay yeah as long as these uh, passages are not too long and too um it'll be over yeah in a second yeah so it's more like you know we did we uh we implemented this cool feature look at it but i don't know why we thought we could do great things with it, but in the end we didn't do great things with it, so that's yeah. what you get, but still we put it in there. But that's okay. It is... You know, everything that makes an impression on the player is okay, so I guess. This is a waste of and time. And this kind of does. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, and it kind of uh, gives the feeling that, because normally, you know, when you like walk around in the real world, you always have the feeling that you are in control of everything. You know, you're mm -hmm. just like the mastermind, and you know the other people are like puppets, which you kind of control. You know, to get the information you need. Yeah. But in this place, he's like the the haunted, or the not the haunted, the hunted, the hunter. <clears throat> uh, he's the. Prey and yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, like mm -hmm. it looks like there's he's not in control anymore, and the killer is the hunter. Or, yeah, yeah. And it, it gives the, the impression that um, you have to that be, you have like you have, this. Uh, you yeah. have to be scared and careful, and because yeah, yeah, because underneath there is something that uh, that's that you're not in control of anymore. Yeah, that could mm -hmm. kill you or that's. I mean, for the player, you know, that's kind of a cool feeling. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I think Scient Hill did that, did that well, mm -hmm. for example, also. 
Oh, I was scared shitless by yeah. the side hill. <laughs> it's because there's the right amount of control and on and loss of control, yeah. which you just were talking about. That's that's the perfect thing for a good scary game. Mm-hmm. Like I don't I don't like to talk about other games in uh, well let's playing a certain one, but you can talk about Silent Hill in, in a context like this a little. But uh, I was just remembered of Darkwood, which like seems to it's a totally different thing, but it makes this uh, this balance it, it, it achieves well, I think. To you know give you some control but not as much so that you are not scared. Yeah. And, and the being scared part does not at all doesn't at all come from visuals and stuff. Because there are hardly any visuals, like you know, it's just this top-down view and you're talking about uh, Darkwood. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the the game I uploaded, or exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It does well. What I wanted to say, it does really well in uh, taking away your control over situations, yeah. and that makes you scary, yeah. scared, not yeah. scary. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you have that uh, switch between like <gasps> control and loss of control. Yeah. So the hell is that like a negligee or whatever you call it? I think it's like it's a, a camisole. I've never heard of that. I think it's the I mean neither. I think it's just a top <laughs> that you wear. But it's nice that the guy put it in a frame. Yeah. So he likes to keep uh, the trophies of his victims. Uh, yeah, no, keep like but display and. You know, and like for everyone to see yeah. more. So he's proud of it. Yeah, I think so. Doing your own profiling. Uh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so it seems like Becky might be in trouble. Yeah. Um. He took it or it just disappeared? The best friend, girlfriend of Laura Palmer was in trouble sometime, like one or twice in the series in Twin Peaks 2. I have to draw these like um, mm -hmm. like sim uh, similarities or whatever you call them. Yeah. <laughs> but let's see what happens with Becky. We will get there pretty soon. To a private chambers. Oh, yeah, you said it pretty clearly. Don't want to die, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, what could I? Are these poor creatures? Just burned them. Yeah, I burned them, although they were kind of dead. Uh, yeah. Already, maybe you released their spirits so they can go to heaven. Oh yeah, that's a nice interpretation. Oh. So brace yourself for some interesting cutscenes. Bad, very bad, Zach. The raincoat killer gave Becky a visit. Hold on. Somebody's taking a shower. Sounds like it. Yeah. Can you hear that? Is it rain? No, it's the shower. Zach, the bathroom, quick! Oh no, I forgot to take out the loading screen. By the way, I think like I put out, I, t I took out half an hour of loading alone <laughs> from the 11 really? hours of recording, I think so, yeah. Oh, what the hell? <coughs> oh, it's another victim! Hmm? Zach, she's still alive. 
alive. Who did this? Who was it, Becky? I, I, uh, I, uh... Becky! What she happened She has here? no tongue, I guess. George, stay back. It looks like it, right? She's trying to speak. We don't have time! She's dying! Thomas, cut that wire. No! We must get her to the hospital immediately. What? Oh, that's probably some kind of trap. What? <laughs> oh my. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! No! no! Don't! George, stop! It's a really weird trap. Oh, I look for her neck. And George killed her. Yes, he basically did. <coughs> <laughs> and it's a, like this weird tentacle plant trap. This must be kind of a, some kind of a sentient plant, right? To yeah, nobody is hurrying to cut loose uh, the. Yeah, they could just try to do that, yeah. Hmm. But I like I like the scenery and I like the final visual and I like I kind of like it. Yeah, oh. it's like a piece of art. Right? Yeah, it so, is so right. He's, so maybe it is Diane or. <laughs> it's horse face. <laughs> I just I just wanted to say Laura, but she's Anna. Anna. Anna, I'm back. Anna. Horse face. So, so uh, do you remember the red room, like in the beginning of tonight's thing? When she said, My name is Becky. My name is Becky. Yeah. The only thing I could think of is that she is saying, uh, I'm, the, I'm the next victim. I'm the next victim oh, with yeah. that. Other than that, I don't. I wouldn't know what it sh what it sh should mean. You know. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, George, what have you done? You're more or less responsible for that death. You got us good this time, Zach. I feel sleepy. I feel sleepy and I'm hungry. As you can see, my uh, health is depleting because I have not eaten for too long. And we have a lot of stuff with us. Yeah, like an onion or something. No, I think we used up all the onions. We got a lot of canned pickles. <laughs> you you always have canned pickles. You stuffed your face. <laughs> <coughs> and, I mean, since when does root beer help to uh, keep you awake? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it like um, ginger? I, I, I have no clue. I think originally at least it was ginger. <clears throat> I like drank a, a lot of root beer when I was in Canada, but I can't really tell what kind of ingredient that is. Okay. I don't know. That's pretty good though. Well, I drank like an original style root beer thing mm -hmm. once and I thought it was too much gingery and I really like ginger actually okay in cooking and I I mean I didn't I don't drink like ginger tea or something like made out of ginger root but um, I like to use it in a lot of cooking so <coughs> but that was too much for me but I think modern root beers are Kind of different to the, yeah. the old Well, it ones. didn't taste at all like ginger, so... Okay. It was, <clears throat> I mean, roots, root beer, there are probably a lot of roots you can make beer, uh, like like a soft drink out of, maybe ginger yeah. is one of them, so I, I don't know. I yeah, don't probably. Know. I just remember that uh, we looked it up and it was like, that was the origin of, oh, the, okay. of the drink. But you are totally right, the name... <clears throat> The name leaves a big opening to everything. Yeah, I mean, I was drinking like store bought, like Coca Cola like root beer, you know, oh. so, you know, it's probably not much left from the original. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. It's just like 
Well, co co uh, cola is a nut, right? It's a nut. It's, it's not beer. Yeah. It's a nut beer. Yeah. So oh, are you yeah, nuts? I can put my nuts in a glass of beer, and then you drink it, and then it's a nut beer. It, then it's a Coke. Oh, yeah. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's have a look what's in the save. So where are we at? Are we at the gallery? No, we're at Becky's house, right? Yes. Yeah. In Becky's uh, uh, bedroom. I don't know where she got the big house from. Um, probably f like from her parents, but no. she does seem to be pretty young still. Not anymore alive, but... I mean, aren't they like on vacation or something? Wasn't there something like in the first a couple of episodes? There was something. My dear sister. <clears throat> might be on vacation. I'm so, so sorry. My cat's bought us hunting I was a fool insects. To fall for a man like him. I don't have the words to apologize to Anna. Well, it's the screen, my I dear cat her. friend. She, she was, was suffering, suffering so much. much. And I just... Ran away. I know he wanted to kill me too, but I'm not going to let him get away with this. I followed him after he was finished. He carried Anna into the woods. Anna was holding on to that precious locket of his. He couldn't remove it from her hand, even though she was dead. But she let go of it for me, though. It was like she gave it to me. So I brought it home. I might be able to on his killer down with it. So that's one of the difficulties I told you about. I'll catch you going to town. Yeah. I'm trapped in my house. So I asked Isaac and Isaiah to deliver it. They totally believe that Anna because... Isaac and Isaiah, those are probably the kids, right? Mm -hmm. The twins, yeah. And she might smile back at any moment. As I'm also in Fessy. I borrowed a pair of your shoes without asking and broke the heel on one of them. I'll send them along with the locket. I'm sure the shoe can be fixed. So Becky is Miss Stiletto Heel. And she gave the locket to the twins. Must be the special secret Lily told us about, Zach. We'd better go and see her first thing tomorrow. Emily, who might this sister be that Becky was referring to here? That would be Diane. Didn't you know Diane and Becky were sisters? I should have known, Zach. We're all family. <laughs> A can of pickles. These are lying around... Uh behind the shed where you sleep at the Tree of Anna. <laughs> so I ate like hundreds of them already. That's a weird noise. Yeah, because it's desynced. Okay. If I think, if I think of it, I will uh, correct it before uploading, before rendering. I don't know if I can remember it. <laughs> I'll try to. Spud, what are you trying to catch? The TV is not your enemy. So we lost a lot of money by repairing our car for 5,000, but um, still at 18,000. So. Still rich. <laughs> 